Okay guys, this is just a quick little update. Um, earlier today, uh, I was filming a video for uh, this machete, Red Cat Machete 6S, and I received an email from Red Cat uh, noting a potential uh, production flaw or possibly a, a, a fault, a faulty component or something. Uh, the email they sent didn't go into detail on what parts were potentially faulty or could um, could break prematurely, but they did uh, say that they were suspending sales on, on the Machete 6S and the 4S, so it's probably something uh, either significant to structure uh, or maybe integral to performance. Uh, they didn't say, I did put an email out to them asking if it was safe to run the vehicle, if it's something to do with electronics or not, or if it's something, you know, some earlier Red Cats, I had a lot of issues with steering on my Kaiju. Uh, and there's some folks that had uh, some chassis issues with the landslide and, you know, Red Cats always have some kind of quirk uh, when they're brand new, especially these the models like this that they, um, that they uh, put out themselves so um, you know maybe there's something important there but uh, from going over this you know taking the the body off and you know looking at things like the uh, skid skid pieces on the body and the updated pins here uh, everything looks to be really quality really nice pieces uh, nothing stands out to me you know from as a quick uh, cursory glance I don't see any potential flaws or anything like that so um, maybe it's something more uh, structural or you know hopefully it's not something with the electronics there's a lot of really nice components here uh, this uh, aluminum 7075 uh, skid plate nice beefy arms Nice turnbuckles, nice wheels, nice tires. Uh, everything looks pretty well upgraded from the shredder. Um, you know, maybe maybe it's something to do uh, internal with an internal component or something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll keep you guys updated when I know more. They're building a skate park near me, uh, so it seems like we should probably scuff up that nice, beautiful, brand new body on a asphalt skate park. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe. Uh, I think I might be one of the uh, first people to have this besides the general rounds of the uh, RC reviewers, uh, mostly because they put a stop to selling it. So uh, if you're interested, uh, drop me a subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think of this uh, Machete uh, 4S, 6S. Um, I think it's pretty cool uh, so far. You know, I only had a few few minutes looking at it here and there. I didn't do any research. I just bought the thing while I was on vacation. It showed up at the house, um, unboxed it, and did a, a quick little review video, a quick little unboxing video. Uh, you'll see some photos. Uh, I'm going to publish this one, this video, super quick just to get it out there that there's a... Uh, a bulletin about these and they're not for sale anymore and there's a potential problem with them. Uh, this video is going to go out and then I'm going to edit together my uh, first impressions video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Okay, so here's an addendum. I did receive an email response from Red Cat uh, by a person named Joe Lacey from their support department. He indicates in his email that the model is safe to be driven and the parts affected are front suspension components and the identified defect has something to do with the way the front suspension is assembled from the factory. He says most failures take place in the shipping process so if you have received one and it's not damaged it's likely uh, to be okay uh, to run so it's not anything electronics based you're not going to destroy the model or set it on fire uh, but you may have a front suspension failure if you do decide to use the model for those of you like me who decide to keep the model and not take the refund they will update us once the solution has been identified and the updated parts are available and they will also include a $50 credit to be used at their store